Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, like promised, I will be showing you guys how to boost your 4G speeds on your iPhone 5 running AT&T's network. Now, this is a USA only mod. Now, if I were to sum it up, this hack basically allows your iPhone to opt out of using the most optimized cell phone tower to using the fastest one. So basically, you're going to get the fastest speeds possible in your area for your device. Now, of course, if you don't have an unlimited data plan, you might not want to do this because, you know, you will be eating up more data if you're using it faster and this does work on any iPhone so if your iPhone was unlocked from Verizon or Sprint or T-Mobile any carrier this will work as long as it is running AT&T's network here in the USA now the method I'm about to show you does work on the iPhone 5 and it will work on any 3G iPad so that's great news if it's running AT&T now of course this is an AT&T only mod if you have T-Mobile and you wish to increase your 4G speeds especially for the people that have unlimited data plans click on this link up here it'll take you to that video but in this video this is just for iPads and just for the iPhone 5 it will not work for the 4s or 4 or any other iPhone so just letting you guys know ahead of time this is very simple and to be honest with you I don't have AT&T service I actually use Verizon that's my main carrier so I can't actually show you the difference but trust me I mean there's many posts out there many people that do confirm this does work and guys it takes about two minutes to do this I mean why not it's really simple so if you don't like it you can always go back it's very simple to revert back to your stock carrier file so you know there's very little risk involved in this entire process so of course I will show you how to install it and to get it back to the original carrier settings if you wish to you know the reason you would want to do that is maybe you guys don't see a difference because not all people report that this does make a difference but it depends on your area so if you're in a location with good towers I mean this will make a massive difference and you guys may even see a doubling of your speed on AT&T's network but you know it's all up to you to go ahead and try this if it doesn't work you can easily go back if not if it works you know feel free to keep it anyways let's go ahead and get started so make sure your device is plugged in and we're going to go ahead and head over to our desktop now just to let you guys know you probably want to back up your iphone beforehand now i'm not foreshadowing that anything bad is going to happen but you know always be prepared so back up all of your data i know a lot of people have pictures contacts messages that they would die if they lost so definitely do that i'm not saying anything bad will happen but you never know so definitely get that done now i want to say this does not require a jailbreak but if you are jailbroken down below in the description where you will download the file that you need which is this one right here the carrier file you will find a link down below in the description also there are instructions for doing this if you are jailbroken it's a bit simpler so you'll definitely want to check that out but this does work on jailbroken devices like i will be doing on my iphone it is jailbroken and let's go ahead and begin so on windows you want to open up command prompt and you'll just want to search for that in the start menu on macintosh you want to go ahead and open up terminal so it's going to be right here and also in the description i will provide you this text so mac you can just copy and paste it on a windows you actually have to write it out so i'm going to go ahead and do this on a mac real quick so on a mac you can just paste it right into the terminal prompt click enter whoops and it's done so nothing else needs to be done now on a windows computer what you guys want to do is actually you know type in the very first part which is this with all the abbreviations and everything and you're going to click enter and then once you click enter you're going to type in the second part and if you have windows 32 bit or 64 bit you will have to type it just a bit differently so you know it's very simple you can read all about it in the description there's full instructions there but you know first this part then that part anyways once you do finish that in the command prompt and terminal you're ready to go so you want to go ahead and quit iTunes real quick and you know right click it down below make sure it's really closed and then open it up again so now that we've reset that in iTunes we're gonna go ahead and head over to our iPhone really quick and in settings you want to go to general you want to scroll all the way down and you want to reset the network settings so this will give you basically a clean slate to install the carrier update on so once it is back up and running in iTunes you want to go ahead and hold the option key on a Mac or shift on a Windows computer and left click update you'll get a little window that will pop up and you want to go ahead and search for that file that i did ask you guys to download it is the modified carrier file go ahead and select open it'll update your carrier settings and then on your iphone you want to go ahead and reboot it real quick 
Now, with all that being done, you guys are now ready to enjoy faster 4G speeds on your iPhone 5 or iPad running AT&T's network. Again, I do apologize that I can't actually show you the difference, but trust me, there is one. For most of you, I'd say about 80% of you, you will see a difference in the speeds if you go ahead and run a speed test before and after, and I can say many people have seen the difference. Now, if this doesn't work for you, and this will not work for everyone, like I did say, it all depends on your location. You can easily go back by running this entire process again with the original carrier file, which I will also provide down below in the description. Anyways, guys, that's it. Nothing more to it. You know, if it worked, great. If not, you can always go back. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy your faster 4G speeds on your iPhone. Have a great day, guys. Peace.